Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the sound of victory. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hallelujah. It's the sound of rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Let the sound of rejoicing feel these times. Word hallelujah is the same in every language. It just means to hallel, ja. To hallel is to celebrate, to make great hallel, from which we get in the English word hallow, and in uh, Arabic halal, anything that is to celebrate, to make holy, to make great. So we're going to sing it two, three more times. And I'm going to watch out for those who will not celebrate God and really dance. We are standing in one place. I'm going to bring you to the altar. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hey. It's the sound of victory. Oh, oh, oh. Sing with a loud one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Yes. In the time of victory. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Lord, we rejoice and celebrate your name. Your name is powerful. Your name is glorious. Your name is healing. Your name is deliverance. Bless your people today. Stretch your hand and do unusual thing in our life. Let somebody who came here discouraged go back home encouraged. Let burdens be lifted and yokes be destroyed. Let blessings flow, let testimony flow. Let your name be glorified. Let a sound of rejoicing be heard in the camp of the righteous to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name. Now put your hands together and bless the Lord. Come on, give God a praise. Bless the Lord. 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 Bless the Lord, oh bless, oh bless, amen, 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 amen. Reach out and welcome three or four people, tell them they look nice, they look lovely, they look wonderful. Appreciate them, thank God for them and you may have a seat. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome you to this morning's service. Trust in the Lord that you will be blessed. You will be highly favored. The word of the Lord will come forth and it will touch, minister, and speak to your life in the name of Jesus. If you believe, say a big amen. amen. Say another amen. amen. If you have your Bibles, please turn to the book of Genesis chapter 38. Genesis 38, we read from verse 27. Genesis 38, we read from verse 27. If you are turning, I'll start reading. Genesis 38, verses 27 to 29. And it came to pass in the time of her travail, that behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed, that one put out his hand, 
The midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. And it came to pass as he drew back his hand, that behold, his brother came out. And she said, How hast thou broken out? How hast thou broken forth? This breach be upon thee. Therefore his name was called Fares. Fares means to break out. Fares means to break through. Fares is like a wall trying to stop a person. But the person decided to break through that wall. Fares comes from the word Fares, Perez, Ufaresen. They all mean the same thing. It means to break through, to break down a wall, or to break over, to bust. So this morning, somebody who's been held in one place for a long time, who's been limited in some certain challenges for a long time, someone who's been held in a place of stagnation, today's message is an encouragement to you because you're going to break out. So our title is, It's Time to Break Out. Somebody say, I am breaking out. Say it like you mean it. I am breaking out. Oh, say it loud. I'm breaking out. This morning, somebody's breaking out. Out of limitations, you are breaking out. Out of challenges of life, you are breaking out. The nature of this anointing, the word Perez means to break out. It is an anointing. Two, two boys were in a womb. Uh, it's a whole story in itself. It was a mess. Judah, one of the 12 sons of Jacob, had gone out, saw a lady, thought she was a prostitute, had a one night stand with her, unknown to him. She was his daughter in law. His son had died, and he had thought this lady should marry the brother. But she was his daughter in law. And so he gave her his staff, he gave her his signet ring, he gave her things which she had requested for. Later, she became pregnant. He heard he wants to kill her. I said, how can you tell me she is pregnant? She did not marry the boy I said she should marry. Bring her here. And he said, you, you're pregnant? We're going to kill you. And she said, well, before you kill me, whoever owns this ring and this uh, uh, football club scarf or whatever and the walking stick is the one who made me pregnant. And he could see his name on the walking stick. And he could see his name on the signet ring and uh, he had to withdraw his word. Pregnancy became two boys inside her. And when it was time for the birthing of the boys, the Bible says as the mother was in labor, her name is Tamar, as she was in labor, suddenly the first child <laughs> brings out his hand and she believed that's the firstborn and she tied a scarlet thread around his hand. But then the boy didn't come out. He pulled his hand back. But then the second boy who was inside, was, uh, that one just broke out. He just didn't wait for the, the guy who brought out his hand anymore. And she said, how come you broke out? How did you do it? You weren't meant to be the first. You've taken over. We shall call you break out. We shall take you the one, we shall call you the one who overtook. We shall call you the one who broke out of limitation. This morning, I came to prophesy to somebody that everything that I've held you down must let you go. You are breaking forth. The nature of the anointing on this second boy was the nature of coming out in spite of everything. Someone forcefully, you are advancing from today. Now I hear you say good amen. It's the anointing that commands attention in a positive direction it's, it's coming on you today it is the anointing to move forward from the ordinary in time in degree in level in place receiving the name of jesus perez or fares is the anointing of breaking from status quo you were not meant to be the one to succeed but you ended succeeding receiving the name of jesus Fares is busting out of normal routine and not queuing where others thought you should queue, receiving the name of Jesus. Fares is crossing over when others stand on this side and they say, well, I've, I've tried. I don't want to do anything anymore. Fares makes you to cross over to the other side. Somebody scream, I'm crossing over. 
Pharrell is surpassing your old record, doing something beyond what you have ever seen before. I pray for somebody in this service today, what you've never seen older generations do, what you've never seen anyone do in your community, you will be the testimony. Oh, say it better, amen. amen. You will be the testimony. You'll be the one that did it. You will enter levels no one had ever entered. Fares is repositioning, repositioning your life, repositioning your destiny, repositioning your calling, receiving the name of Jesus. Fares is moving from behind to the front. The midwife did not expect it. She had seen that hand that came out and thought this is the guy who is going to make it. They did not reckon that you are coming. They did not reckon that you will come forward. They did not reckon that you will have a testimony. In fact, when they were listing you, they listed you as uh, the rear guard. They listed you as substitute. But God will make you an overtaker. A person who comes into a season of blessing, a season of favor, a season of testimony in the name of Jesus. Fares is for those who did not show with a scarlet thread. You didn't have a scarlet thread, yet you made it. You didn't have a scarlet thread, yet you are the one who came forward. You didn't have a scarlet thread, yet you are the one who changed the narrative. Receive in the name of Jesus. Fares is destinies that are not determined by accolades of men. You didn't have a first degree, second degree. You didn't have a first class. You didn't have all those names. But suddenly God just lifted you up. If you are the one, even if it is in your future, somebody shout, I receive it. Listen, it isn't the elevation of man that makes you make it in life. It is the lifting of God. It is the grace of God. It is the hand of God. Some of you who've been through unis, there are people you can remember. They had a first class, even with extra honor, but you don't even know where they are. It was the guy who was struggling at the back of the class that today has a testimony. Well, I came for the guy who is at the back of the class because he may have come at the end, but he's coming first, and God is changing his story, and God is moving him to new levels, new destinies, new dimensions in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when men write you down and God writes you in, the narrative will change, the story will change. In fact, I'm preaching to somebody here who is going to disrupt the industry. You are going to disrupt the industry. I like you to say disruption. It is the latest language in technology space today. When the company shows up and does things nobody has seen and suddenly begins to produce unusual winners, millionaires, billionaires, they say this is disruption. Somebody here like Fares is going to disrupt their industry, disrupt their community. You were not on the list, but you just showed up. In fact, the midwife said, how did you make it? How did you take over? You will take over. I lay hand on you by faith today and I declare and decree. They didn't know you were coming, but you will show forth. I said you will show forth. God will lift you up. God will bless your life. You may not have the scarlet thread on your hand like the first one who brought out his hand, but you will have a testimony on your life. You know why? Because you carry destiny. The oil of God is on your life. The grace of God is on your life. And when your season comes, when your time comes, even your teachers will say, you mean I'm the one who taught you? You say, yeah, you are the one. She says, I can't remember you. Remember going to introduce myself to the teacher who taught me in primary school. She may even be in the service today. I was at her birthday recently. Mrs. Rodick, I said, you taught me. She said, I taught you. The person I'm watching on television, I taught you. Oh, someone is here today. Destiny will announce you. I said, destiny will announce you. Glory will come on your house. Your story will change. I lay hand on somebody today. Every wall that has stopped you, you came to the United Kingdom. Somebody is trying to use all kinds of systems to hold you back. They tell stories. They use prejudice. They use color. There is a grace that raises you above color. There's a grace that raises you above education. That's a grace that raises you above, above connection. It will come on your life. It will come on your life. Something is changing. Something is changing. 
If you believe it, say amen. But you answer together, give God praise. When the Pharaoh's anointing comes on you, you may not be the one they expected to make a change. You did not come, you are not even on the list, but God will put you on the list. The Bible says when Joseph rose, everything changed. His family story changed. In fact, they began to address the whole of the children of Jacob by the name of Joseph. They'll say Joseph and his family. So Judah had to queue behind him. Reuben had to queue behind him. Dan had to queue behind him. Everyone had to queue behind number 11. Somebody say number 11. <laughs> it's not the first. In Hebrew culture, numbers matter a lot. One is beginning. Two is witness. Three is the number of God. Four is the number of balance. Five is the number of grace. Six is the number of man. Seven is perfection. Eight is the number of new beginning. That's why David was the one who became king after Saul. New beginning. In his father's house, David was number eight. Eight is new beginning. But Joseph was not number eight. Nine is the finality of justice and all things. Ten is the number of abundance, prosperity, increase. Before the world changed to digital, the Bible was digital. The Bible counted in tens. So 10 is the number of prosperity, but Joseph was number 11. 11 is confusion. And truly, when God wants to confuse your enemies, he does things they did not expect. In fact, they think you could never succeed, you could never prosper. Some, do you know there are people who think you have to always go through them to arrive at your destination? But I stand on this altar today and I prophesy that the door which no man can open, the door which they thought will never open, is opening for your house. It's opening for your life. You came to this service today. I've been praying and fasting all through the week that somebody in this service will break out. You will break out. Break out of limitation. Break out of challenges. Break out of battle. Where they thought they held you down, God is bringing you out. I said, God is bringing you out. It won't be long. The people who mocked you, they are coming to your celebration. They are coming to your promotion. They are coming to your thanksgiving. They will follow you to church. They will follow you for thanksgiving. Put your hands together and give God a praise. Give him the praise. Ah! Some people are slow starters. But that does not mean that they won't catch up. You know, the other guy, he shoots his hand out. The boy, the guy behind may be a slow starter. But when Pharaoh came, he took over. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 7, Though your beginning be small, your latter end shall be exceedingly great. Never despise your day of small beginning. Because you started in one room and you had to eat. <laughs> your center table was also your, your dining table. It was everything. For some of you have no table, you had to sit on your bed. It's okay. The day is going to come, you don't even know how many tables are in your house. There was a time when there were only two doors to your, to your room. The door to the room and the door to the toilet. That's okay. The day is going to come. You, <laughs> I remember when we were building our home. I went there. And the architect told me there are 135 doors. I said, for what? I didn't know there are so many doors. He said, yeah, everything has a door. Toilet, door, kitchen, door, 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 door. That's 135. I pray for you today. You may have been the last. But your story is changing. God is giving you a testimony. Something awesome is coming to your life. Shout him in with power. Hallelujah. Pharaoh's anointing is coming on you. It's the anointing to overtake. You will overtake. I need to hear that. Amen. I said you will overtake. A position overtake of overtaking is coming on you. You will take those who have previously gone. Overtake the positions you've lost. You will recover all. You will regain lost ground. And surpass lost ground. Joel 2 25 God will restore everything to you Jeremiah 30 17 God will restore your health to you Zechariah 9 verse 12 God will restore your blessings to you first Peter chapter 5 verse 10 God will restore your health to you shout amen three times 
Glory to God. It's time to break out. And this message is not for everyone. But it's for you. if it's for you, you need to say, it, I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. And some of us, our breakout needs to be a mental breakout. Because sometimes we just don't move in our mind. We think this is okay. This size is okay. This place is okay. This way is okay. This thing is okay. And God is taking you to something bigger. God can never take you where you are not ready to go. Never. He can take you where you are not ready to go. The Bible said they could not enter his rest because of unbelief. And when I talk about breakout, did you know that the children of Israel got stuck in their journey where it was only 11 days to reach. Once they reached Kadesh Barnea, it was 11 more days to reach and they stayed in Kadesh Barnea for 40 years. They stayed in the wrong place. They, had, they only just left just about a week or so from Egypt and they had reached Kadesh Barnea and they stayed going round and round. They're going round the mountain when he comes. He be going round the mountain when he... They were going round and round the mountain for 40 years. You know there are people like that in London? They're going round the same story, same friends, same neighborhood, same ugly picture, same scenery you've seen. You're breaking out! I said you're breaking out! Even if you didn't want, we are not going to allow you to stay there. We have the warrant for your release. You are breaking out. You are entering new season, new levels, new dimension, new grace, new favor. Shout amen with power. Why do you need to break out? Because many who were meant for the top prefer scarlet thread. The young man, instead of him to walk in blessing, he prefers scarlet thread. He's showing everybody, I have scarlet thread. I'm the first to show. First, no be best. <laughs> He's showing everybody, I carry the scarlet thread. What's the use? I've been in this one for 29 years. So what? What did it profit you? I was there when they were rebuilding. Uh, you know everywhere that was re rebuilt in London. Were you part of it? Or you were just an observer? Scarlet thread. Too many people in our community show scarlet thread. They show scarlet thread. They can tell you the story of every corner. Oh, I was here when we changed the old bus, the old red bus, from when the uh, conductor was at the back. You remember those times? When I was at the back shouting, first please, first please, and rolling. Do they still roll that thing? Yes, please. You were there. Still catching the same bus. Scarlet thread. Scarlet thread. There are too many scarlet thread people. And when they see you prosper, they get angry. As far as they are concerned, you did something wrong. They didn't know that there is an anointing. It's a far as anointing. It takes you from where you have been stuck. And it can do it in one day. Somebody's shifting after this morning. You are moving from today into your favor and testimony in the name of Jesus. I don't know who it is, but the change is here. Shout him in with power. Many are fighting unnecessary battle all their life. You should not fight on the old age. And, then, and, and all you have is scarlet thread. Zara had the chance to be the first by just he was doing testing microphone testing you know in those days when we go out to whole crusade outside we'll be slapping the microphone because they were cheap microphones bah, bah, bah. testing microphone testing go and buy a better one stop and when the thing doesn't work we say the devil is a liar no no you are the liar you are the one who bought a cheap microphone too many people who have become uncool of London. All they did in their life living in London is testing microphone. Testing. They've worked everywhere. They've done morning job. They've done afternoon job. They've done evening job. Testing microphone. And when somebody younger, smarter, 
who carries Pharaoh's anointing shows up and <laughs> overtakes them. They say, hey, come here. Where did you get that money? I'm suspecting you. Yeah, suspect yourself. Fares keeps you in the same place. Fares rejoices in nothing. Fares is a gossip who tells stories. Fares has no purpose, no result to show for his labor. Fares. Fares. I came to let you know when you carry this anointing of Fares. Hey, hey. Ah! You, you, you move beyond his brother. I mean, Sarah is the one that had nowhere to go. Sarah is the one who was doing testing. When you carry Fares, you are going somewhere. From today, your story will change. Your testimony will manifest. I declare today by Fares anointing, from today, you are overcoming. You are winning the battles. By a Fares anointing, sweat and struggles, they will be over. They will be over. They will be over by a Fares anointing. I lay hand on somebody here. You are, you are delivered from delays. You are delivered from stagnation in the name of Jesus. By a, an anointing that I announced today, you will be a voice to your generation. You'll be a voice to your neighborhood. You will ride on the high places. I said you would rise on the high places. By a Fares anointing, you will command respect. You will command dignity. You will command honor. Shout amen three times. By a Fares anointing, you will see positive change. By a Fares anointing, you will receive commendation at the end of your labor. By a Fares anointing, you will have enough for all your needs. By a Fares anointing, you will maximize your potential. You will achieve your dream. You will reach your destiny. By a Fares anointing, every dream, every picture you have in your spirit, every vision you have, everything you wanted to be, you will come to, it will come to pass. It shall come to pass. I said it shall come to pass. By a Fares anointing, you'll be the head and not the tail. I said you'll be the head and not the tail. Anyone who have been stuck in some place they don't like. I came this morning to let you know it's not too late. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years you've been there. In one day God will change your story. This morning your story is changing. God is making your dream happen. Everything Satan said will not happen in your lifetime. It will happen this year. Orareta ikelere boja. <laughs> I'm seeing a revelation of somebody not only is God going to give you I don't know what it is it looks like either a house or something in fact you have two keys to choose one from God is going to give you keys 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 shout I receive it by Fares anointing you will become a reference point they will be referring to you as a woman whom God turned things around for They'll be referring to you as a man whom God changed his story. Aliketo Branish Kayera. By a Fares anointing, you will bless your generation. By a Fares anointing, you will be in the right place, doing the right thing, achieving the right vision. By a Fares anointing, every financial obligation you have to your family, to your society, you will carry it out. That side of the family that used to mock you and mock your dad and mock your mom and look at them, they are the poor side of the family. You will go back and feed them. You will go back and clothe them. You will send their children to school and you do it out of joy. You do it out of celebration. If you believe it, say I receive it. When the Fares anointing comes on you, God has a way of getting you to the place where they thought you will never be. God has a way of getting you to the place they wrote you out from. I announced to you today, you will pursue, you will overtake, you will recover all. By this anointing, you will pursue, you will overtake and recover all. I declare today, 
that there is a breakthrough that is beyond human endeavor beyond human power beyond human ability matter of fact i need to tell somebody in the service before december 31 they'll be begging you with blessings begging you with favor begging you with opportunities begging you with blessings begging you with favor begging you with opportunities begging you with blessings begging you with favors begging you with opportunities receive 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 come on give god a praise hey i feel the holy ghost in this service i feel god in this place i feel god in this place I had about Put your hands together. Give God praise. Give God praise. Somebody has been delivered from scarlet thread. Unfruitful ventures. Scarlet thread. Following people who are going nowhere. Scarlet thread. Joining them in business that has no head, no tail. Scarlet thread. Joining them in ganging up. And just attacking others who are doing well. You have been delivered. Scarlet thread. Scarlet thread. No, that's not your portion. I came this morning to let somebody know. You are truly breaking out. I said you are breaking out. You are breaking out. That's the kind of breakthrough which even if you don't like it, people will just want to be close to you. They want to connect to the anointing you carry. They want to connect to the grace you carry. It's coming on you. It won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. <laughs> when your glory will come, shout, I receive it. Say it again, I receive it. Ah! Too many people in the church, sit down, sit down, who just want to be Sarah nothing to show Sarah nothing for their testimony Sarah they desire to shine without a sweat they don't do anything but they know all the fashion designers they love it they like to show you carry that Hermes bag so you can see that is uh, a is it Birkin a Birkin bag so you can see it's Birkin, even if it's uh, uh, China, <laughs> China Birkin, you know, as long as it says, and some of the people who now copy, they, they write the name up, upside down, <laughs> they are balking, <laughs> Jesus man, Sarah, Sarah, just wanting to still show, but not leading. You can't see track record of what they've done. You need to resign if you belong there. You need to resign. Because if you like it or not, your life is speeding in the direction of change. And if you don't change, change changes you. Have you noticed that gray hair does not ask for permission? Ish, 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 ish. It doesn't ask for permission before it shows. And if gray hair doesn't, show some days when you wake up you need to wake up gradually you can't jump out of bed anymore you need to wake up gradually Sarah Sarah has no track record no impact no making of any difference Sarah 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 people bribed their way to the top that's what he was doing he pushed his hand. Ah, the midwife said, okay, you are the right one. You are the right one. And she put the scarlet thread on his hand. Choice of man, not choice of God. I would rather be chosen by God. The midwife chose him. So when the one chosen by God showed, she reacted. Carnality always reacts in the place of spirituality. Flesh always reacts when God is working in your life. Flesh cannot handle what God is about to do in your life. And I am so convinced God led me to preach this message today because somebody's story will change 10 times this year. It's going to be so big, you, in fact, you'll be wondering. You'll be slapping yourself and say, is this me? 
receive it, receive it, receive it. 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 Shout amen with power. Fares is an anointing. Zera is a manipulating spirit. Are you a manipulating spirit? Because if you don't have anointing, you will carry Zera. There are Zera churches. Well, what you see is a manipulation. Zera is a manipulating spirit. He manipulated the, the woman. He dazzled her with his hand. Unknown to her that this guy is not going anywhere. He just made a lot of noise. Whereas Fares knew his destiny. That's why one, the scripture says, For I know whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. He put forth his hand and took, back, took it back inside. Just wanting attention, but not want to be a blessing. Zera. Just wanting to steal the show and lead. Zera. Manipulating people, manipulating systems, manipulating situations. Zera. Getting ahead by any means necessary. Zera. Pushing for empty power without anointing. Zera. Stealing shows without ability. Zera. Devo without devotion, without commitment that is required. Zera. Zera has always blamed somebody. Why can't you take care of your family? The country is very hard, you know. I'm trying my best. Zera. I rebuke that spirit today. Anyone who has a manifestation of it, we rebuke that thing. We command your freedom. Zera don't know that starting first does not mean finishing first. Zera, starting late does not mean finishing last. Perez may have started last, but when he came forth, he took over. You see, the recognition of man is not the endorsement of God. Some men will reject you. Some people will put you down. Never play to what they want. In due season, God will see you. God will bless you. God will lift you. Someone in this service, your better days are about to show. God is getting you ready for something so awesome, something so powerful, something so beautiful, something so great. The grace will rest on your life. In the name of Jesus. I said something will rest on your life. Some of you, you've been in hold for a long time. You waited for so long. But I came today to let you know the time to manifest has come. The time to show forth for your blessing has come. Show forth for your grace. Show forth for your calling. Show forth for your destiny. Your family's limitation will not be able to stop you anymore. Shout amen with power. You're coming into grace. You're coming into your calling. Don't be Zera. Don't be Zera. Zera astounded the midwife. The midwife saw him. She said, Ah, this is the one. This is the leader. This is the carrier. She didn't know it's empty. They bypassed you. They overlooked you. Heaven will not forget you. God will lift you up. Heaven will lift you up. I prophesy on somebody here You will surprise those who give up on you You will surprise those who give up on you You will surprise those who give up on you You will surprise those who give up on you You will surprise those who give up on you You will be whom God said you will be Alemo, Shalekebra, Marika, Hirnosia, and Telara Fares anointing is a generational grace in the Bible, we never really heard about Zerah anymore. He disappeared into thin air. But as for Fares, somebody here, you are going to be that Fares. It will bless your children, your children's children, your great grandchildren. 
shout amen three times. Ruth chapter 4 verses 18 to 22. Ruth chapter 4 verses 18 to 22 shows us that Pharaoh's anointing is generational. Don't live for yourself. Carry enough fire that your children don't have to struggle and your grandchildren don't have to struggle and your great grandchildren don't have to struggle. Now these are the generations of Pharez. Pharez begat Hezron. Hezron begat Ram. Ram begat Aminadab. Aminadab begat Nashon. Nashon begat Salmon. Salmon begat Boaz. You know him? You remember him? The millionaire. You see the anointing can sometimes jump generations. Then one person who desires the same thing great grandpa had, it rests on him. May that anointing of Pharez rest on your children's children. Boaz begat Obed. Obed begat Jesse. You know him? And Jesse begat David. You know him? So out of the mess, call the one night stand of Mrs. Tama, comes forth Pharez. And out of that one night stand came out David. Your mess will become a message. Your pain will become praise. Your challenge will become conquest. And you know what? If you open the book of Matthew or Luke, you see Tamar there. I don't even understand. All the bad girls in the Bible showed up in the story of Jesus. Just to let you know. Grace, grace. God's grace. Grace that is greater than all our ah, pleas. Grace, grace, God's grace. When they write you off, I am speaking into somebody's life today. They haven't heard the last from you. Because Pharaoh's anointing. Is coming to your house. It would rest on your life. You will shake systems. You will shake the nations. Your children will shake systems. Your children will shake the nation. Your grandchildren will shake systems. Will shake the nations. If you believe it, say, I receive it. Come and give God praise. This morning upon this altar I stand. Every Pharaoh who stole your position, it shall be restored. They will hand it over. Pharaoh who stole your blessing shall be disappointed. I didn't hear your amen. The God of Pharaoh who lifts from the back and brings to the front will lift you up. From rejection, you are going to selection. The midwife rejected him, but God selected him. Some people have rejected you, but God will select you. God will lift you up. Your neglect and abandonment will turn around for blessing. Those who look down at you will soon look up to you. You are going from zero to hero. From nothing to something. Pharaoh's anointing will change your life. Your story will change. What they meant for evil, Genesis 50 verse 20 what they meant for evil would turn to good it would turn to blessing it would turn to greatness I promise on somebody today you are stepping into the door that God has opened I said you are stepping into the door that God has opened you are overcoming obstacles triumphantly you are marching forward powerfully from lack to abundance I didn't hear your amen. From obscurity to limelight. I said you are moving forward from poverty to prosperity. You are moving forward from failure to success. Open your two hands and shout amen. I declare you are breaking new grounds. I said you are breaking new grounds. By the Pharaoh's anointing, you are breaking new grounds. 
there are young men young women in the church today who are desiring to start a business you have a, a tech startup or one thing or the other i prophesy on you today you are breaking new grounds you are breaking the yokes of limitation you are crossing over all barriers you are crossing over all the barriers in the name of jesus embargoes have been lifted for you right now embargoes have been lifted embargoes have been lifted embargoes have been lifted the siege is broken the siege is broken those hands that have opened i command them that those hands will complete projects successfully and you are going from the bottom to the top from the bottom to the top you are enjoying good health by Pharaoh's anointing peace of mind is yours blessing is yours favor is yours dreams will be fulfilled by a Pharaoh's anointing helpers will rise for you somebody in the service today someone will look at you and they will connect you they will bless you they will take you places they will connect you to help they will connect you to friends they will give you connections they will open doors for you they will wipe your tears fill your mouth with laughter give you reason to celebrate shout amen like fire come on somebody begin to bless the Lord like it's already done 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 hey give god praise your victory is in your praise open your mouth and begin to pray the language of the holy ghost come on rekatatalereba shayera rekoteka reko reketalerebos jandeleribos reka italerebos itayindi you're breaking forth <laughs> you're breaking through hey hey i arosha arare koseketeleri ay 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 renonce katele kozola ayarash this is your day of testimony this is your day of change i see tears wiped I see stories changed. It's already done. It's already done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He taught my mind. He saved me. sign to your life just as you have announced in that song your eyes will see what the Lord has done please say another amen, amen. your hands will handle it amen. issues 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 that came to church with you will turn to testimony amen. anyone who stands between you and your testimony they want to be a wall Fares means making a way through a wall Fares means to tear a wall apart Pharaoh's means to destroy limitations. Anyone who have created walls, today, next time they hear of you, they'll hear your testimony. I declare to your life, I said, you'll hear your testimony. Pharaoh's means to break it down, to tear the wall down. From today, you are tearing the wall down. Pharaoh's means to bust it open. Ah, walls are torn down. Walls are broken down. In the name of Jesus. I said they have been torn down. 
we declare it we decree it in the name of Jesus somebody's gonna testify I said you will testify in the name of Jesus today as you have come to this service Fares also means quantitative progression not just one step two step but quantitative the kind of progress that God throws you forward that's why the Bible says it makes my feet like a hind is a kind of antelope a hind jumps sometimes three to six meters in one jump he makes my feet like hinds feet quantitative progression so this morning on this altar next time we hear of you next time we hear of you your story will change the story will turn around shout amen like fire and as you stand on the altar as you stand today I want you to know the first Adam came and showed his hand testing microphone and created a problem for us but the last Adam came and broke the tomb he broke that tomb and got us our deliverance the first Adam got us scarlet thread all we had is just problem but the last Adam Jesus the son of God everything that holds man at the resurrection of Jesus Christ and even before his resurrection the last word of Jesus out of the seven words on the on that cross was teleos time in Greek teleos time means it is finished every issue is finished teleos time so the last Adam boom he broke through somebody say he broke through say it again he broke through so everything that, that has held you Jesus has paid for it somebody say paid for say it again it's paid for say it louder it's paid for say it one more time it's paid for it's paid for paid for paid for ah I, listen to this morning's service there's somebody here I, today is the last day you hear about that matter I don't know who it is but today is the last day you hear about that matter and if there's a matter that that matters if there's a matter that matters that you want to be you want it to be today the last day you, I don't want too many people at the altar but if you are such a person there's an urgency to it come around wrap, wrap around the altar today is the last day you hear about that matter that matters and you're going to just come and you are coming not to pray but to thank God because the breakers anointing is breaking through for you come on come just wrap around the altar and begin to prophesy to yourself today 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 something is changing today 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 hey i can't remember how to sing that song walls are coming down uh chains are falling off my feet
come to this altar and you are going home with a testimony you're going home with a change and with a turnaround tears wiped just play the plug on the keyboard for me you're going with hope you're going with healing you're going to <laughs> I see doors open one of the doors open it's a strange one. It's so stuffed with things that there's almost no room to enter. Get ready because your story is going to change. If there's a Rachel at the altar today, God says he'll take care of matters and he'll pull himself so strong in your life. There's a symbol, a symbol on the, on the service or on the platform or connected. God says a new season is here. Somebody with L A T in your name, God says, Change is coming, change is coming, favor, testimony. Nakatu Rosia, Ricato Suba, L A T. Where's L A T? What's your name? All right, what did I hear say? Loretta, Loretta. Okay, so L A T somewhere. Father, bless her, change things change doors open doors in the name of Jesus is anybody connected to a name like Latimer what's your name huh I can't hear you no stay there stay there Ember. immaculate okay I'll let you. <laughs> blessings on you what's your name Okay, there's a L.A.T. there. Oh, Jesus, man. Father, today we release favor and testimony on somebody here. These people whom you have picked up, show up for them. And turn matters around. In the name of Jesus. What's your name, young man? Huh? Come here, Taylor. What do you do? Just this side here. No, no, not still here. What do you do, Taylor? Yeah, what do you do? In the Royal Air Force. What's your rank, Lance? What's your rank? Okay, you're just joining. Have you joined? A week, two weeks left to finish training or what? All right. I don't know why the Spirit of God picked you. God said to tell you your past is not your future. You've had struggles and they almost used it against you when you were going to join or do whatever you want to do. But God turned things around and you haven't even seen anything yet. Great days are coming, but you got to stay in the Lord and keep your eyes on Jesus, okay? Father, bless this young man. Change his story. Change his story. Let the battles and the struggles he had seen I command things to begin to change and testimonies to follow him. Let your story, let story, let his story turn around. Father, let his story turn around. Thank you because it's done. Amen. Look at me. I don't know your name is L-A-T. It's spelled round. Taylor. T-A-L. So actually I pick L-A-T and you are T-A-L. So there must be something that was connecting me when I was looking at you. Now I just picked it. So listen, from today, something's going to change. 
I can't see your dad in my head when I was praying for you. I cannot see him. Uh, so I know that probably wasn't the kind of relationship you wanted, but God said he will always be there for you. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. So I'm going to give God praise this morning. Things are going to turn around for you. And you will have a testimony. You've been through some struggles. You've been through some struggles. You kind of identified with what I preached. Because continuously they look down at you because you were not the Zera who first showed his hand. But God said uh, they haven't seen anything yet. The world will hear from you. Father, I bless everybody at the altar today. I speak your blessings upon their lives. Let today be the beginning of new beginnings. New grace, new favor, new lifting, new destiny. Everyone who came to this altar with a dream, with a vision, with something so big in their spirit that they want to come to pass. I declare it shall become reality. It shall become reality. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Come on, give God the biggest praise. Walls are coming down. You may go back to your seats. bless your people today let the seed of the word that was sown let it truly bring forth fruit about this time next Sunday let people have uncommon testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies uncommon testimonies thank you Lord In Jesus name bless the Lord one more time Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord before we take the offering. I think we should seal everything with a communion. And then we can take the offering. The atmosphere is for the communion for the communion. There's power in the blood. There's power in the body of Jesus broken for us. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. When he had broken it, he gave thanks and said, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After that, he took the cup when he had supped. I said, this is... The New Testament, the blood of the New Testament. But as often as you do this, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. Let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For whosoever eats of the bread and drinks of the cup unworthily drinks damnation to himself. Father, bless this bread and this cup. As we partake, let it be for our healing, for deliverance. Let that fire as anointing rest upon your people. Let somebody have a testimony. Let today be the beginning of new beginnings. To the glory of your name. In Jesus name. Amen. As you bring the bread and the wine please. Partake and begin to prophesy into your life. Your hope, your healing, your deliverance. And if you have a child. If you have a child under 14. They should not partake. But only above and also if you're here you need to have received jesus christ into your heart as your lord and savior before you partake because the bible says whoever partakes without 
the right step without calling Christ into their heart, they're taking condemnation. Do not take condemnation. Take that which brings your healing. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I cannot trust the sweetest frame. some fire through waters through challenges yourself sometimes even you begin to doubt yourself but all you need to know is to just hold on to Christ Jesus is the answer for the world today bless your people today thank you for the privilege of partaking in your body broken for us and your blood shed for us help us to always stay near the cross help us to keep our eyes on you help us to always serve you not just for the things you do for us but for the things you've already done thank you Help us that we will always glory in the cross of Jesus Christ. In a world that is throwing away the Bible and the cross. Mocking Jesus and celebrating all manners of sexism. Jesus brings me near the cross. Near a precious fountain. Free through all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain in the cross in the cross be 
my glory ever till my ransomed soul shall find rest beyond help us that will glory in your cross and not be ashamed to speak that we are believers in Jesus name somebody bless the Lord Provoking breakthrough, one of the ways to provoke breakthrough is to learn the power of the seed. Bringing our offerings and our tithe is not a sanctimonious thing you do every Sunday. Offering tithe, offering tithe. It is, it is congruent to the worship. Our worship is not complete if we don't bring our offering and our tithe because we are approaching the king who worship the king all glorious above and gratefully sing his wonders so we are approaching the king and you approach a king in the right way somebody say right way please say it louder right way so our offering our tithe is one of the ways to approach the king yes he will bless you but listen this is the way you show that you love him by celebrating Jesus Christ and worshiping him with that which he has provided for your life. You 